Hello, YouTube. This is Newman Fan Forever Thirty Nine, and um, well, after my previous video, which was the review on the Dale Earnhardt Jr. Valvoline Throwback Car, I got a lot of positive reviews. Well, first off, I just want to say that thank you for everyone who watched or liked it. I really appreciate it, and I need to get my views up. And then. The thought came to me that, since I have another promo card that just came a few days ago, I may as well do another diecast review on it. I know I'm probably not never going to be as good as Race Day 2011, but at least my views got, got over 100, so that's really all that matters to me. Anyways, this one's another 2015 promo that was ran early, well... About a month ago, and that would be Boris Said's number 32 Gen C beer Ford for Go Green Racing. This I bought off of their website for only about 10 bucks. If there's still any left, I'd recommend getting it if I were you. Even, if, well, I'd rather get it than having to pay 35 bucks for it off of eBay. As you can see, this is on the EL mold. However, since it's a beer car, it is on the base. I think you guys should be used to that by now. Alright, so, time to take this thing out of its box. we go. Anyways, hmm. this is a very simple paint scheme and very cool for an underfunded team like Go Green Racing. So, um, let's go over the sponsors. We got, we got some usual contingencies, Go Green Racing logo, Ford, Ford Fusion, Gensine Beer, Boris said to name over the windshield, and um, I am hoping this little white speck comes on the car because I think that may be a screw up. Anyways, got usual contingencies here, 32, Boris said to name over the door, uh, I can't see what that is. When I see Go Green Racing on on the um, A pillar or B pillar, sorry. Southern Pride, Gensine Light, Gensine Light, Go Green Racing, Ford. Eh, something with something with New York on it. I cannot. Read that from here. Let's see. Ford. Gensine light. Number 32. Gensine light on the deck lid. Nothing on the roof. And this side is the same as the left. Except for that little white speck. And I'm not sure if that's a screw up. Basically the paint scheme is. Very simple. Red. White. And blue. Starts with. Basically, red all over the front and over the hood. Then, pretty much the middle and the door areas are white. And then the back end is blue. Now, I'm going to be a bit more... I may be a bit more skeptical about this one. But I'm going to give it an 8 out... No, 8.5 out of 10. This is pretty good for underfunded car... I still think that Jimmy or one I did before was was the best, but I I still appreciate this. Yeah, you know, like I said, this is on the on the base, so you're gonna have to take that off. But 
it's worth getting. It's on the EL mold, and it's only ten bucks on Go Green Racing's website. And I'd rather pay for that than not be to pay thirty five bucks for it off of eBay. And also check check them out as well because probably as of now they might have Terry Labonte's last last ride car from last year in its original variation with the. Um, the two different paint schemes on, on each side, and they may also have Bobby Labonte's car from this year. So, like I said, comment, like, subscribe, and um, please let me know if I should continue still doing diecast reviews, because I'm feeling pretty good about this. And I will see you all later.